Hey, 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 what's up folks? Michael here, and this is Orchard Phase 2, 2023. All right, so I just got up here to the cabin in Ohio. It's Wednesday evening, I just put the babies down. So I might be whispering a little, but they're sleeping. And uh, we are kicking off this long weekend, Orchard Phase 2. We're going to be planting two dozen trees, adding on to the orchard that we started last year. So if you haven't seen the videos from last year, back in uh, springtime, uh, March, April of 2022, uh, me and Big T, my father, we planted 36 apple trees, nine different varieties. And my mother came out and helped do some mulching and compost and stuff like that. So it was a great success. All the trees are doing great. There's one that may have not made it out of the 36, but the rest are doing great. Anyway, we're expanding the orchard with 24 more trees this year. We're gonna be planting 12 pear trees and 12 peach trees. Three different varieties for pear and peach, four trees each. Now, the trees just arrived today, so I get my trees from Trees of Antiquity. They have some really quality, awesome, organic heirloom trees. These trees are, I think they're two-year-old two, two year old trees. Really great, great quality trees. I mean, when I got them last year, the apple trees, I was just, I was blown away at how well taken care of these trees were, how well established they were, and how well they took to my land. So I'm excited to get these peach and pear trees in the ground this weekend. Big T's coming out. My sister and her fiance are supposed to come out. Everyone's going to be helping. The babies, they weren't even born yet when we planted the orchard last year. So they were born in May. So they were born shortly after. So, so I'll have the wife out there. It might be raining. So hopefully it's not. But if it doesn't rain, then we'll have the whole family out there. It'll be awesome. And my mom's going to come in next weekend. She wants to participate in... Uh, you know, help out a little. So uh, the only thing I'm going to do tonight is just open up the box, take a look at the trees. As long as the roots are moist and, you know, they could stay in the box here for, for a while. Uh, but at least for tonight, I'll just keep them in the box and then maybe take them out tomorrow. And then we'll, we're going to actually start planning on Friday. So let's go ahead and open the box and see what we got. All right, so I got the box open. So you can just see how nice looking these trees are. Right, so you got all the different varieties marked with these labels. Here's the old Indian blood peach, baby. So these are all organic heirloom varieties. These are ancient varieties, which I love. So here's the root balls, the bare root. So it looks like they're nice and moist in there. Uh, they said that these trees can stay in the box for up to five weeks as long as you keep these roots moist um, we're obviously not going to keep them in that long we're going to be planting here in a couple days so tomorrow again i'm going to probably take them out of here make sure the roots are still moist i'll end up putting them in some water maybe uh friday morning i need to get out on the the orchard tomorrow and i'm going to be marking off where I'm going to plant each tree. I'm going to use some bricks I have and uh, just mark off each spot, measure it all out, get that all ready before Big T gets here. And uh, we'll be planting. So I hope you like the video. We're going to expand this orchard. So we're adding 24 new trees. We already got 36. So it's going to be a heck of an orchard going here in Ohio. So I love it. Anyway, stay tuned. Well, good morning, guys. Got a beautiful sunset here. Listening to the turkeys gobble. I've heard four different birds. They're all kind of far away. So I don't know if the camera will pick up any of the gobbles, but they are going off. We still have a few weeks until the season starts. I don't know if you heard that one. The peach tree back there is bl blooming already. It's actually pretty chilly out. It is. 
about 31 degrees. It's actually going to warm up by this evening. It'll be in the 50s. It's going to stay in the 50s overnight. And it'll be in the 50s all day tomorrow. There is rain in the forecast, so we're definitely going to be getting a little bit wet when we're planting the trees. Uh, but that's okay. So, I got some work to do today. I'll be uh, prepping the trees. We've got to mark the locations where we're going to plant them. So, today is going to be sunny. 50s. It'll be a really nice day to get out and do some stuff and prep for planting the trees. Man, those turkeys are going off. You probably can't hear them, but they just keep gobbling. I fucking love it. I love it. I love it. All right, guys, so it is a beautiful afternoon, and uh, it's warming up. Sun is out. Birds are chirping. And we are going to head out and start marking the spots there in the orchard where we're going to plant these new trees. And um, I got some helpers. There they are. They're going to come on out and help me. So I have a funny system here that I'm going to use. So I need to get a wheelbarrow full of bricks out. I'm going to use bricks. They're yellow bricks. They kind of stand out just to mark the spots where the trees are going to go. And um, I also need to get the babies out there with me. So I'm going to push the wheelbarrow maybe, you know, 30 yards and then come back and push the babies 30 yards. Push the wheelbarrow 30 yards, push the baby 30 yards. No rush here. So uh, the wife ain't here yet. Hunter isn't here yet. He's with the wife. And uh, Big T showing up first thing tomorrow morning. And then my sister and her fiance are supposed to show up on Saturday. So uh, we're going to start prepping and getting these trees in the ground soon. All right, let's do it. All right, so I got the wheelbarrow. I'm going to be throwing the bricks in here. They are watching me. Got the old Ford 800 here. I love that tractor. All right, let's go get those bricks. Okay, so I got my yellow bricks. We're going to be heading out to the orchard a couple hundred yards that way. So I'm going to get a little workout here, wheelbarrowing, wheelbarrowing the bricks out there. So I got the babies right here. So I'm just going to get a little system going here. I push that barrel out of ways, come back, get the babies, you know, just back and forth. All right. All right, the babies are right there. They're under a nice little shady spot there. I'm going to get these bricks over to them, and we're going to keep on going. Okay, so we are now here at the orchard. So here's the existing orchard. Here's my temporary fencing that actually worked really well. I'm going to put up some more permanent fencing right here. You can see that's six foot. Uh, but I have this netting up now that definitely has kept the deer out, but it's a bit flimsy. We had a big windstorm last weekend. I had to come out and repair this because a lot of this was just all tore up. But anyway, we're going to be adding on to the orchard this weekend. We're going to have a couple rows coming out this way, but we're also going to wrap a few trees this way and around that corner. So that's pretty much it. 24 trees, and we should be able to pack it in there pretty good. 15 to 20 foot spacing is what I'm aiming for. And uh, got my helpers here. They're hanging out, getting a little fresh air, some sun. These are my markers where I'm going to mark all the spots where we're going to dig. And what better day than a beautiful, cool day. It's not it's not real hot. It's not real cold or anything like that. So it's just uh, really nice. So let's get to it. Okay, guys. So we are going to soak the roots for a few hours. So I got them out of the bag. Roots were nice and moist. It was moist in there with those uh, wood chips they put in. But I did this uh, last year, worked out well, just to ensure they got enough water, roots stay moist before we start planting tomorrow. So I'm not sure if I'm going to put them back in the bags or if I'm just going to heal them in with some soil down here. Uh, I haven't decided yet, so we'll, we'll figure that out here. But I'm going to let them sit for a few hours, just make sure all the roots uh, got some good moisture. So there's my helpers. 
they're sort of tired one's kind of whining a little but it's all good you gotta love it gotta love it all right we'll see you in a bit good morning folks so it is friday morning sun's just coming up i'm just out here getting dressed and uh I'm out here just getting geared up. Big T will be on his way shortly. It'll take him a couple hours to get here. Uh, but my first order of business is to spray down the, the trees and the roots, make sure they're still moist. I healed them in under the back deck last night. And then I'm gonna take the Polaris and the dump cart down into the woods to collect some extra uh, rich soil we'll use that as part of the mound where we plant the trees a lot of good nutrients in that soil down there and then uh, by the time I get that done Big T will probably be headed this way soon and then uh, we'll we'll start uh, the planting process right so also hoping to hear some gobblers this morning I heard a bunch yesterday morning haven't heard any yet, but uh, if I hear some close by, I'll see if I can record it. So, all right, should be a good day. Uh, the weather right now, it's in the 50s. There is rain headed this way, but it may not get here for several hours. So the forecast has changed in the last couple of days. Uh, so hopefully that rain holds off and uh, we'll go from there. All right, let's do it. All right guys, so I am down in my woods here. I'm down in a lower area. There's a little creek that runs through here right off one of my trails and I'm starting to dig up some dirt, load it up into the, the dump cart here. So when we're planting the trees, we'll use the native soil in the holes that we dig. Uh, then we're gonna mound it up a bit using this soil here. So that'll be on the top. It'll allow nutrients to leach down into the soil so you figure in these woods the reason i'm getting this dirt is because it's going to be nice rich soil full of nutrients and um and so you figure all of the organic material and biomass that's broken down for decades down in here you know this this is woods it's not being farmed it's not has doesn't have agriculture chemicals or fertilizers right this is all natural, organic, fertilized soil down here. All the, the leaf litter that just breaks down. So uh, this is what I did last year, and I'm doing it again this year. So I'm loading up this dump cart with soil, and then we'll have it available up there as we're planting the trees today. So I haven't heard any turkeys close by. I did hear two very far away, but nothing close by. So I got my call just practicing a little, and... Uh, Hope, hoping to hear something close by they like to roost down right off the drop of this uh, valley here so we shall see all right so i just had a i just had a gobbler go off right behind me i was shoveling dirt and he went off somewhere over near that valley there's a valley on the other side of this hump he gobbled it was pretty loud so he's not all that far might mess with him and see if uh, he responds to me. Okay, so we got a pretty full load here. That'll be good enough to get us started if we need to grab more. <laughs> Plenty more dirt down here. So, it's sprinkling a little right now, a light drizzle. I'm going to head back up. i got to move the disc, which is near the orchard, with the tractor. So I'm going to do that next. I'm also going to hit my call. I haven't done any calling yet and uh, just see if that gobbler responds. I only heard him gobble once. I don't know if the camera picked that up. One just responded to me. 
he's really far away down in that valley way out there that was cool <laughs> man as long as i've been turkey hunting which has been over 20 years i still get excited at a bird responding to me like like i did the very first time so i'm not going to screw with them too much i just wanted to practice calling a little bit don't want to educate them before the season we still got a few weeks till the season starts but uh there was a bird closer over this way he didn't respond but one responded much further away hopefully the camera picked it up i don't know all right let's head back up and uh continue on big t's on his way so he'll be here in a little bit all right there's old hunter okay so i got the dirt up here successfully here's the disc i gotta move i was gonna disc up this section that i was gonna be planting the trees just to churn up the soil a bit and break down some of this grass but um it's been raining so much i just never had a chance to do it like the soil just didn't get dry enough every time it was dry enough to do it i wasn't here and then every time i showed up it was raining again <laughs> so i'm just going to move this it's no big deal i'm just going to move this with the tractor uh, we got all the spots marked out with these bricks uh, most of them are spaced about 15 feet apart uh, some of them are closer to 12 13 but um we basically got two rows that are going to be going down here they curve around that part of the orchard they also curve around here then I got several going down here, and then there is a few in that back corner. So we're just kind of wrapping around the orchard. It's going to be awesome. So I'm going to go grab the tractor so we can move this big old hunk of equipment. <laughs> Folks, we got big T in the house. We're about a little over halfway through the digging. Hey, got it. Looks like how far around? Well, the it stops right there, and then there's just like two more on the other okay. corner. So it doesn't really, yeah, it doesn't really wrap all the way. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's going smooth. We got some rain as usual. We're gonna keep at it. Alrighty guys, we took a little break. We got all the holes dug pretty quickly. Me and Big T came in, took a break, hung out with the babies, had a snack. Um, I filled up, well I didn't fill it up, but I uh, put some water in the bottom of this garbage can, threw some of the trees in there we're going to be planting. So we're going to start planting here. Got the rest of them healed in here. Uh, the rain has really let up, so... So it's good because it was pouring here not long ago. So we're going to get back, back at it and start planting. Alrighty. We are planting. It's muddy out. It's going quick though. So we got four of the peach trees in the ground. These are the Red Haven peaches. One, two, three, and four. Just kind of winding down this side here. It's going pretty quick though. What do you think? Yeah. Hunter's been standing guard watching out for coyotes and bobcats intruders we're just gonna keep working our way around all right we just came back to grab more trees peach and pear trees planting's going pretty quick so we're leaving the indian blood peach trees for my sister and her fiance ron so we got them all healed in down here under the deck old hunter there he's all wet well, 
a successful planting has been completed. We left four trees for Diana and Ron tomorrow. It stopped raining finally. The wind picked up a bit, but look at this. I'm a muddy as a pig, baby. Like a sound of mud. Wee -hoo -hoo. Anyway, um, let me just show you what we got here. So we got all the trees planted. We got four left to do over there. That's what Diana's gonna do, the Indian blood peach. Uh, we got the poly white peach right here. This one is in honor of my grandmother. Today's her birthday. She passed away uh, many years ago. Um, but I planted this one for her, Donna Jean. It's the poly white peach. I know sometimes uh, people would call her Dolly. So Polly, I thought that was very fitting. And I also put it in this corner because there's a beautiful sunset that comes down here. So she has a view of the sunset there. Um, so my mom's going to be coming out. She's going to get some green bricks or green rocks to put around this tree because her favorite color was green um so yeah that worked out good um let's see so you could see all the trees kind of going down here we've got two rows here we're gonna have four that wrap around there and then the rest wrap around that way so it's it's been good so we'll catch you tomorrow with uh diana and ron while they're planting those last four and uh, we're going to put a little more dirt around the base of these after it settles. It's supposed to rain some more. And just make sure the m it mounds up real nice and it has plenty of dirt and all the air pockets are out. So, uh, yeah, thanks for, for watching. We'll, uh, we'll be wrapping up here tomorrow. It should be a nicer day, too. All right, now. There's old Hunter. All right, guys. So it is Saturday. And it's a much more beautiful day. It's in the 60s, it's sunny, but it's very windy and it's gonna get windier throughout the afternoon here to the, to the point where it's severe wind warning. And um, I gotta get these four remaining trees in the ground, the Indian blood peach trees. My sister was supposed to come in. She's unable to make it. Um, so I gotta plant these today. And uh, we had a bunch of rain last night and some of these holes are really filled with water. Two of these holes are filled with water. Those two holes are okay over there. Alrighty, I got the first Indian blood in the ground. Looks good. The wind is really picking up. It's getting crazy. Um, you can see how I mounded that up. I don't know if you can tell from the GoPro, but it's uh, it's mounded up. So the roots are actually at ground level. And then, um, and then I got it mounded up here a few inches below the graft point. So, we've got three more to do here, so we're going to get rolling. Okay. So I had that laying in there just to keep it nice and wet. You can see how much water is in that hole. And that hole ain't that deep. Now keep in mind, this will definitely drain over the next 24 hours. But we've been getting so much rain that I just don't trust at a couple inches deep so I'll show you what I'm doing I'm taking the sod I put it upside down here so all the worms in there and uh I set it back in there like this okay and then I'm going to break that up with my shovel plant that right on top of the sod that grass and weeds under there will break down provide it some nice uh, biomass under there that the give it some nutrition to the tree but uh yeah let's go ahead and do it big root ball so I'm gonna go ahead and widen that out all right the last Indian blood tree has been planted that's a peach tree in the orchard 
phase two has been officially completed so i'm not going to bore we bore you with uh some of the additional activities i'm going to do here all right i wanted to add one more little point here so I'm, I'm obviously an avid outdoorsman a big hunter i have a hunting consulting business for habitat design hunting preparation scouting food plots all that good stuff so when you're putting in any sort of fruit tree one of the first things you should do is come up with your goals and objectives right so not everybody's going to have the same goals and objectives some people might plant some fruit trees because they just want to see more deer maybe they they're not hardcore hunters some people want to uh, leverage fruit trees as part of their food source whether it's on the edge of a food plot or as a little tree plot and they're specifically hunting deer or mature bucks right and that's going to all impact your strategy where you plant how you plan and how you strategize the whole design now my specific goals and objectives i'm obviously an avid outdoorsman i love pursuing big mature bucks that's one of my goals but i planted a whole orchard in all of these trees together um, 60 trees because one of my other goals and objectives is to grow fruit I love the idea of trying to sell heirloom organic fruit. I love the idea of planting things and growing fruit. I like to eat some fruit. I don't eat a shit ton of it, but I do like to eat some fruit when it's in season and nothing better than growing your own organic heirloom fruit, right? It's, it's, the heirloom varieties are much more nutritious than uh, any of the genetically modified stuff. And that goes, that, that, there's some anecdotal evidence that even deer prefer the ancient heirloom seed varieties because that's where they come from right that's the stuff they fed on for thousands of years a lot of these newer varieties um, they might be bigger and sweeter but they tend to lack other nutrients that you're simply not going to find unless you have um, the heirloom variety so um, part of it is for deer hunting and so where i place this orchard um, is part of my strategy it's not close to the cabin um, it's off in a spot where deer come up from thick bedding area um, it's in a good location where deer can come out and feel comfortable and i'm going to plant some food plots next to this so i would have planned this completely different if i was solely planning a tree plot just for deer hunting uh, but i'm not so there's a couple goals and objectives that i'm balancing out there i do have all these trees in one area but they're in a strategic location that's perfect for the way the sun travels it's far enough away from the cabin where deer will feel comfortable coming up there's some screening there for pine trees and i have room to put some food plots and i got bedding not far from there it's a great travel route so that's part of my strategy and that's why i planted them in this manner if i was going to plant it only for an orchard i would have done it a little bit differently than that so just some tips for you if you're planting a tree plot um, think about what your ultimate goals and objectives are, especially long term, right? Is it deer hunting? Is it fruit? Is it just seeing deer? If you want to see a lot more deer, then maybe you're going to have this out more closer to where you can actually see it from your cabin. Um, a lot of things to think about, and I help people do that with their consulting business. But anyway, it is windy as hell here. <laughs> so I'm going to wrap up. I appreciate everybody watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you on the flip side, baby.